So you want to add comic book style lines to your work in Blender. I got you. It's a lot easier than it looks. Let's get into it. Alright, so we got our new file open in Blender. What we're going to want to do is go ahead and delete everything. Um, next, you're going to want to add in an object. Uh, you're going to want to add it into a collection. So up here in the outliner, you can add collections just like this. Uh, delete them. So we're going to want to make sure we have one collection up here. We're going to add in a character object. I'm just going to use Susan. I'm just going to subdivide it. So in the modifiers, the little wrench here. I'm going to add a subdivision surface. And then we can right click and shade smooth. So there we go. Next thing we're going to want to add is another collection. So up here in the outliner, collection 2. So we'll click on that. I uh, like to go into front face, add a camera. There we go, and I'll just back that up. Perfect. All right. Click on that collection again. We're going to add in a grease pencil. So we're going to use collection line art. This is where the collection is going to come in. So now whatever you have in your first collection, whatever objects are in there, that's what the grease pencil is going to get applied to. So we're just in collection, going to select our first one. And there you go. So it looks bad right now, but that's because it only shows from the camera's perspective. So if I pull out this little arrow up here in the corner for this menu, View. We're going to select camera to view. Just get the camera centered. Camera to view. Now wherever I look, the camera will follow. Alright, I'll just leave it right there. Okay, now the first line art object is just going to be our detail. So for detail, we're just going to drop it down. Whatever you think looks good. For me, I'm just going to do 20 liking how that looks uh, and then you can click down in this drop down edge types this is going to see what the lines are all being applied to um, so for your detail you can leave all this we're kind of wanting more detail on everything so I'll just make that smaller this little drop down arrow right here I'm going to add another modifier onto the line art so in the modifiers tab of the line art object going to add a noise modifier. Right now this looks kind of dumb, but sorry, I'll just go back into view. Camera to view. There we go. So that's looking pretty bad. Uh, we're going to bring this position on the noise down. Uh, thickness is what we're going for. So now you can see the thickness is random. It's applying random thickness to different areas. And that is exactly what we want. Maybe not full thickness. Uh, and then noise. So this is the scale of the thickness. So I like to bring it up probably about 0.4. So now you can see we're getting this art look here, this uh, line drawn look. I'll bring it to about 7. Beautiful. And I think in the line art, I'm just going to bring the thickness down a little bit for the detail. Try it at about 12. So you can still see we're getting that thickness. Okay, now what we're going to do on collection, add another grease pencil collection line art. So there we go. Now we have line art number one. So in this one, again, select the collection that your object is in just collection one for me. There we go. What we're going to do here now is in edge types in the line art uh, modifier. So for this one, we're going to switch it to silhouette. Deselect everything else so we only get a silhouette. Now we're going to crank the thickness up just a little bit and again add a noise modifier. Bring the position down, the thickness up, and then the scale. 
this just depends on how much definition you want in your line. Go close to half. And you can already see we're getting that nice thick outline as if it's been hand drawn in a comic book. Alright, here I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like on this character that I've made. Uh, so as you can see up in the outliner here, um, I'll have my line art in its own collection. So I'll have detail right here. Detail is kind of all the little lines you're seeing and then outline. Outline will be your darker outline to give it that really... And then for my outline, just go to my modifiers here. So I do have a multiple strokes. I've just added this in. So all that does is you can see right here. Just take my camera off view, bring it in. You can see how I'm getting multiple strokes going on here in the outline. It just looks like I've gone over it a few times. I just thought it was cool. So yeah, this is what you get. right here and then with the uh, material. Alright, I hope this is what you're looking for. I hope this helped you.